Hi, I'm Sean Brown from Superyacht News and I'm here with Paolo Cassani on board Motoyacht Blush. Um, Paolo is the um, president, the group president of Camper and Nicholson's International. So thank you very much for having us on board today. Um, Paolo, please tell us um, Camper and Nicholson's uh, position here at the Monaco Yacht Show. What yachts have you got listed? Is there any new news that you want to bring forward to, uh, to the industry? Well, Camper and Nicholson is on in a... Uh, quite important transition phase uh, after the acquisition that has been done uh, a couple of years ago yep. and uh, over the last year we implemented uh, let's say uh, many new projects we are in the process to continue and to let's say uh, to get the and to achieve let's say the uh, to realize the um, strategic plan that we launched uh, one year ago as soon as immediately after let's say yeah. the uh, acquisition uh, a few months after the acquisition of the uh, of the company uh, being in a transition period period uh, uh, we've been uh, very busy very busy to let's say to follow the market but also to build up the new company Nicholson yeah. okay Company Nicholson will be uh, more international in the in the in the next future. Uh, we will announce in uh, so until now I'm bound by confidentiality, so I cannot. But uh, it will uh, happen very soon in a couple two three days, probably beginning next week. There will be an, an announcement for a new shareholder uh, entering into the capital of in the equity of the company, and uh, this will allow us to let's say to be more let's say to be stronger, to be more powerful and more international because uh, uh, thanks to this new uh, venture we will uh, uh, approach uh, uh, some uh, new markets that at the moment uh, are still uh, let's say not in the priority list of the company. Uh, so that's uh, um, that's the current situation of company Nicholson. Of course this means also uh, a strong internal reorganization uh, being more international, more important, opening new offices in, uh, let's say, the other side of the world yep. means also implementing our, let's say, infrastructure, internal infrastructure, and uh, uh, reviewing completely our internal processes and procedures. Okay, so that's uh, uh, that's the main task we have uh, uh, in the de in the these days. In these days. Uh, talking about the Monaco Yacht Show, uh, uh, I think today in this edition we have uh, uh, some of the most beautiful boats in uh, in the show, uh, and uh, uh, we are very happy because this is the second day. But the first day we had our records of visits, talking about Campanicos on records, of course, um, uh, visits on board of uh, our boats here in the, in the dock, and uh, which is very, which is very promising for us because I mean. Uh, uh, I mean, the equation is very simple. When you have good boats, you have many customers. So that's, uh, that's the point. And you have eight yachts here. Eight, eight yachts plus uh, uh, 12 uh, in the yeah. uh, anchor, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then, uh, so more of an industry question or uh, using your insight, experience and knowledge. Um, what would you like to see changed in the industry to perhaps make it better in the future? Uh, to be very honest, uh, uh, I haven't seen great changes. So the market over the last past years, the market changed uh, more rapidly than uh, the industry changes. Yeah. And uh, that's something that we have to be aware of, in my opinion. Uh, we will try to be, let's say, uh, to be conscious about that because uh, uh, this should inspire our strategies for the future. In, uh, I mean, it's different if we talk about builders or we talk about, let's say, brokerage company like us. And uh, of course, I'm talking for brokerage companies at the moment. And uh, uh, which is the evolution for the future or how we, we see the future. We see the future, let's say, uh, moving the company as much as possible to be uh, a, glo a global service provider uh, for our customers and not only customers, not only owners, but also uh, builders. So we are, uh, we are in the middle and we can play a very crucial role. And uh, we need to create a reason why uh, a final customer, a final owner, let's say, uh, should invest on us uh, instead of uh, uh, getting, let's say, uh, a relationship directly with, uh, with the yard. Um, so we need to create tools uh, just to support, uh, let's say, our core business, which is selling boats, of course, second hands and, uh, and new builds. Uh, by uh, let's say getting wider our spectrum of services 
and uh, the issue is uh, uh, keeping the level of the services uh, uh, at very high level. So we play the game in a luxury market and everything we do has to be consistent with this. So we must, uh, let's say, improve uh, as much as possible our image. Company Nicholson is already a strong brand worldwide, but if possible we need to, let's say, uh, make some steps forward. And uh, um, everything we had uh, to the portfolio of products that we have, uh, that we deliver today, has to be same level of luxury. So we work with uh, uh, people that are uh, used to stay in the luxury world and we must be at the same level, otherwise we lose the game. We must change also, in my opinion, in the future, the language, the wording that we use. You know? So uh, our companies, again, I do repeat because for me it's an important, let's say, uh, concept. Companies, uh, uh, they sell, I mean, selling a boat is a consequence, it's not the startup. So it's a consequence of uh, a relationship with yards, with the uh, owners, uh, with the market. So that means that we need uh, competent people, we need uh, committed people uh, and uh, great professionals. Otherwise, it will be difficult to compete and to win. And you have all the right people and all the right professionals within Kemper and Nicholson. And uh, I want to wish you all the best of luck in the future with uh, your, your plans. And uh, hopefully we're on the beat with the, the news that's going to be announced shortly. So, yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. Thank you.